To me, the Honor Guard is here to represent the Calgary Fire Department at public events locally, um, as well uh, internally within the Calgary Fire Department. Um, but it's also here to represent the Calgary Fire Department on a uh, municipal, federal, and international stage as a um, well-disciplined, well-organized leader in fire services. Why did you join the Honor Guard? I've always wanted to be part of the Honor Guard ever since I went to fire school in uh, 2004. Um, it holds special meaning to me because, um, well, number one, my granddad served in World War II uh, as part of the British Infantry. And um, the second reason is because my fire service instructor from Fire Etc. was diagnosed with uh, presumptive cancer and passed away a few short years after I graduated. And he um, taught me all of the valuable lessons about what it means to be a part of a fire department, um, the values, the culture, the community um, th that all of this uh, represents. How did participating in the Honor Guard affect you? Um, sometimes, sometimes I walk away from events and um, there's a lot of refl reflection that goes into my day. Um, at every event, there's an immense source of pride in not just what we've done that particular day, but in what we do every single day when we come to work and when we attend other people's emergencies. Um, and otherwise, it, it, there's a huge sense of camaraderie and, and teamwork that goes with being a part of the, the Honor Guard. Um, and that's, those are the ways that it affects me and we always have fun no matter where we go or what we're doing. Tell me about a specific event or ceremony that holds special meaning for you. There's a few. Uh, there's a few that I've attended. Um, obviously, Randy's funeral um, was very emotional for a lot of us um, because he holds such a significant role in uh, so many students' lives at a point in time where um, they're just making their career decisions, right? They're young adults making um, big decisions for the rest of their lives. And uh, when you're teaching kids uh, values and morals and ethics and how to deal with the community and the public and how to be honorable and respectful and have integrity, those, those things, those are big issues. They're big topics. They're big feelings. Um, so attending his funeral was quite moving for us. Um, Remembrance Day is another one, uh, like so many of us on the Honor Guard would say. Uh, for me, again, that just goes back to honoring my granddad and his service in the Second World War and uh, throughout the British Infantry. Um, and then one event that uh, I was quite honored to be able to participate in was uh, Ralph Klein's funeral uh, a couple years ago. Um, he's just one of those men in Alberta that uh, regardless as to how you feel about the man and some of his decisions, he was a true Albertan and he stood up for Alberta and its rights and our, our presence on the world stage and on the federal stage. And he was an honest man and he always spoke his mind, regardless as to whether you liked what he said, how he said it. Um, those are just things that, that I hold near and dear to my heart. So it was um, particularly special to be able to serve him on his last day. So. There were a lot of us traveling up to Edmonton earlier on this year. And um, before showtime, we're all just normal. We're all ourselves. Um, and we're not necessarily how we would be at the station in front of a chief or in front of other captains. Um, and sometimes we don't always have the appropriate facilities to change before showtime. So this one particular event that we were attending, we basically all had to change in the bus as it was rolling down the highway. And there's shirts flying and makeup 
bags here and there and um, there was probably more skin to be shown than what would have been professionally acceptable on the floor. But we're all family in those events and we all know that the greater good is that we all look presentable, that we're on time, that we are professional and ready to go when showtime happens. And it's just a much more relaxed environment, um, even compared to being in the halls. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, I just, I love the camaraderie that the Honor Guard has and that it represents. Um, I don't like to play the female card, but being the first female on the Calgary Fire Department Honor Guard is an honor uh, over and above just being a part of it in general. Um, the guys are incredibly welcoming. Um, I'm always a part of the team. I'm no different than anybody else. Um, there's lots of jokes that go around about being the first female or about being a female in general. And uh, they all know that I have a very thick skin to deal with that, but um, they're just wonderful guys and they are so passionate and dedicated to representing this department in a professional manner with the highest amount of integrity um, and poise whenever we are out. Um, it, it's truly just an honor to be a part of that group.